How are you doing YouTube? Right, I, since my last video I've had a few folk asking about the setup of the battery eliminator kit. So I'm going to do a quick how to. This will be my first how to. And let's just say it would have been handier if I had a second GoPro. But instead I'm going to be recording it on my phone. So I do sorry, I do apologise sorry about all the, if it's awfully shaky and not the greatest angles and somebody invited the cat along. Right, so first off, this here is your battery eliminator. Just plugs straight into the back of the GoPro instead of the battery. You have a USB connector on the end of it, which then plugs into your power bank. Right, so let's see if we can get this sorted. So this is my housing. What I've done is just drilled a hole in the back of it to feed the wire through it. Uh, now let's see if I can manage this with one hand. See the wife's right now. The table will be all scratched to fuck. Right, so got a GoPro. Now we have a GoPro with no battery. Right, just to show you the setup of this. That just plugs in the back of that. And plug the USB in. And the power button. And it powers up. So that's that. Simple as that. So I'll switch that off, unplug this again, this is a pretty natural with one hand, right, so GoPro in the case, USB comes through the hole feed all the wire through because there's quite a bit of right back on the table and door shut so my normal waterproofing technique is good old fashioned blow tack. Just put it over. Obviously, you can tidy it up. The good thing about the blow tack is easy enough to come back off should you have to take your GoPro out the housing. Right, so then comes to the helmet. So if I swap my camera onto the mount Put my wee rubber thingy on, right? Which therefore means I can bring my mic adapter through it, plug that in again, 
Blue tack keeps it all sealed. Right, and then I shall take off. This cheek liner. Run the cable through where the chin strap comes through it. Shape just gets in the road. Right, click that down. So, what I will do is put a bit of electrical tape to keep the cables together and good old screwdriver. Tighten up the GoPro, and then all you do is Put your helmet on. So I, uh, so then all you do is put your helmet on. Obviously, the cable runs through there, out through the chin strap, plugs into this, and then put that in your inside pocket of your jacket, and you're good to roll. So that's it. As easy as a couple of minutes has it done. Probably the longest bit being was drilling the hole in the back but I'm sure if I had a wee dremel or something in the lights you know a file it would have been done in no time and that's us job done so I got these both of these off eBay I think you're lucky if I spend about £35 all in uh, I know it's not the dearest of stuff so we'll see how long it lasts but it's just obviously trial and error now and these wee things are now a thing of the past. They'll be handy for other bits and pieces with the GoPro if I'm just stoning about using it by hand. But while I'm on the bike, it's no longer needed. It means I can use my Wi-Fi remote without having to worry about the battery life. I can use the preview on my phone without having to worry about the battery life. So, aye, it's all good. Now hopefully my GoPro will just last up until I need to change my SD card. So, job done. Cheers cat. And see you later. Bye.